Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this, in this clip we will learn how we can modify our 3D model in 3D Max. Okay, imagine uh, we have this aircraft 3D model, A4, uh, but as you can see we have these uh, you know, parts of uh, this 3D model. They are separated. It is fine, but look at gears. They are uh, attached together. In fact, they are just one object, and it's not fine because you know. For example, I just wanna remove this front gear and I keep these rear gears, left and right. So I can't. If I deactive, look at this. All of them will be fine. Hide. So. Uh, I just need to remove this object or reverse it. No, in the other side, in the opposite, I can remove these guys and keep this uh, front gear. Whatever. What matters is in this clip we will learn how we can modify this 3D model in Max. It is really easy. Okay, let's go to the 3D Max app and software here, and at this part we will import. Uh, that's a 4.obj object okay and import all right now I'm holding uh, alt but uh, button and with middle mouse click I'm rotating around my 3d object and with scroll I can scroll back or scroll in okay Excellent. Now, I uh, just want to modify this 3D model. So, at this step, I need to click just on these gears. Okay. At this part, uh, when, uh, after I selected the, that part of object, should go to the modify. Look at this. At the second part, it's modify. And in here, we have different uh, you know, methods from uh, editing a mesh. Okay, first by vertex. Look at this. At this part, we have access to the all vertexes of this object. For example, I can say just these guys. Look at this. And I press delete. Uh, Ctrl Z. Another solution is edge. Look at this. We can have access to the edges. It's more than vertexes and the faces and the polygons and the element itself look at this the, the element you can select uh, that object separately look at this for example this is just the gear uh, here the strings and here this. look at this the other part separately it is so beautiful and perfect okay so i can say uh, just this guy in uh, selecting this object this specific object by polygon or face is really difficult because look at this all the time you need to do something like this and keeping uh, on left control to add more object look at this but it is difficult why you can do it by element look at this it's very easy and now delete 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 all of them delete something like this that's it this is very easy you know you can change any object you want or here uh, if I want to select another object look at this at this point I can't so at first I need to go out from modify mode to create mode okay now I select here and it is free to select any object else for example I click on this body of fuse light object okay so at this part as this step I don't want to uh, remove I want to change the mesh itself. For example, I come back to the modify and select, for example, polygons. Okay. 
I said just this and this and this guy, these guys. Okay, look at this. Now I press W exactly, and uh, the mechanism of out, uh, 3D Max is really similar to Unity. For example, W is for transform, E for rotation, and R for scale. Okay, I select W, and now look at this. It is awesome. You know, now I changed my mesh. Even I can do something like this. <laughs> it is beautiful. Now, for example, if I go to the vertex mode and I will say only these guys. Oh, sorry. Yes. Now I have this mesh, something like this. Or even one of each guys. Look at this. Yeah, you can modify your 3D model as you as you wish, you know. You can change whatever you want. Okay, let's come back to the create mode here and let's export from this beautiful <laughs> new version of A4. Okay, now I click on this 3D Max button and here export and I select uh, desktop and OBJ. I will say new A4. Yeah, it is new version. All right, it's done. Let's come back to the Unity. And now I import the new assets again here, and we have new A4. Beautiful. Look at this. We have this guy. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a new version of A4 which has this new option and also without front gear. Look at this. It is perfect. Okay. I hope this short tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any question related to Unity, AR, VR and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye bye.